hi everyone in this video you are going to learn about finfed technology uh, top view of the finfed technology and the va characteristics of finfed technology and what are the applications of this finfed and uh, of course we will also see the fabrication process of the finfed so in the previous video i started this finfed technology hin is nothing but a narrow channel between source and drain and some of the important basics of this finfed if you see it is a type of multi gate device okay if there are more than one gate i told you pin cuts the gate into two parts so minimum gate number of gates available is two gates and if any auxiliary is not provided then what happens see here if any oxid gate is not there then a gate 3 will be available if any oxid gate is there then gate action will not occur and um we this can be widely used compared to the planar mosfet and it can have two or more pins in the same structure that i will see in the that i will uh, explain in the case of uh, um top view of this pin and advantages of this in fact we have seen it occurs less area leakage power is also low low voltage operation and a lower retention voltage for sram good current controlling capability and these are the structural differences between panel traditional planar mosfet and pin fed and pin is a channel between source and drain and now this is the way how the gate is formed and if it is not if we do not want to arrange any gate then definitely we should go for an auxiliary and this is the these are the two different types of pin fed so one is a short gate and one is the insulated gate short gate is nothing but the gate is having uh, only one terminal because uh, the gate one and gate two are shorted together and whereas insulated gate is nothing but they are separated that's why the name insulated and now coming to our topic this is the top view of the pin fed top view of the pin fed see here source gate drain suppose consider you are and p and transistor and p and nothing but here it is n plus diffusion n plus diffusion and p type substrate n type diffusion n type diffusion and p type substrate so now we are taking one n plus region here and one n plus region here and a gate material here okay all these three are arranged like a strip it is the advantage of this arrangement is in a very small area we can build number of fins to create number of transistors okay so source gate and drain these are the three terminals we have taken as i said n plus diffusion n plus diffusion and the red color that what policy is found here now a fin is connected from source to drain and another pin is connected from again source to drain again source to drain at last we are having a channel a pin is established from source to drain okay here each pin represents a transistor each pin represents a transistor if you see this particular block act as a transistor t1 and here it is t2 here it is t3 and this one is the four how many pins are there that many number of transistors that many number of uh, um transistors will be created in this pin fed that is the main advantage see within the show suppose if you take a planar mosfet in the particular same area planar mosfet creates uh, its structure but whereas in the pin fed in the same structure will be having multiple number of transistors so how many pins are there that many number of transistors can be created coming to the second type of this uh, pin fed technology in the first type we have seen a common input for all the transistors it may be a drawback in the first e okay mm -hmm. see gate is common for all the transistors as gate is taking the input signal all the transistors are having common input see for this pin it is a gate input for this it is a gate input for this it is a gate input and for this also it is the gate input so for all the transistors made up of in this uh, single gate strip all the transistors which are having common input that are uh, built in the single gate strip coming to this separated gate strip so here we are using an insulator here also a 
conductor nothing but gate one you can say it is insulator nothing but two now this is the gate terminal two how this can have multiple gate uh, separated gates see here i am saying it is insulator it is insulator top and bottom then in between these two we are connecting a gate material polysilicon that makes a pin here and here so two transistors are there two transistors we are having because of having two pins and coming to the bottom part also here also insulator is there insulator is there in between you are having a polysilicon and over the gate link okay so as there are two transistors so here also four transistors are there in these two transistors are having common input and two transistors are having one more common input from gate one and gate two respectively okay so that we can vary depending on our requirement we can carry whether one or two or three that depends upon the requirement okay this is the way how to design the pin cut and it is the top view and if you see the fabrication steps of this pin cut fabrication steps of pin cut fabrication steps of pin cut so here also we are having a substrate first this is the substrate so in fabrication process first lightly doped p type substrate is fabricated and a hard mask is fabricated over a substrate so here we are using hard mask hard mask so pin h now in order to establish a pin we need to etch the unwanted area to create the window structure we can say okay wherever we want to create the particular material that needs to be cleared how and pin h is nothing but they might be highly and isotropic process pins are formed and oxide deforestation is also needed where we are creating some oxide layer oxide pins oxide layers are or pins the oxide layers are formed to isolate the pins so planarization we can say it is planarized by chemical mechanical positioning process okay all these yellow colors and we can say all these steps requiring a lot of chemical uh, requirements uh, res uh, H by this process excess oxide is etched so wherever you are having oxide uh, that unwanted area we can achieve we can etch by the process of this etching okay so gate oxide to isolate the channel from the gate by thermal oxidation process gate oxide is deposited over the pins so deposition of the gate highly deep and deep highly doped n plus polysilicon gate layer is formed and deposition over the pins so if you see all these steps what i said here substrate pin h and oxide deposition is there planarization is there and etching the oxide layers on unwanted areas and that is depositing the uh, required pin <laughs> and here oxide layers are created and here we are having this connection metallization so all these steps are common when we are going for the planar MOSFET but additionally if in establishment is there okay nothing is there in that whatever we are having with respect to the operational here also we are doing the same process the fabrication steps are similar to the fabrication steps are similar to planar MOSFET planar MOSFET fabrication okay same steps we are using additionally we deposit or we can say create a pin between 
source and drain okay so this is what the advantage whereas we are having the same similar characteristics as compared to the previous diagrams now let us see the characteristics of inpet characteristics of Inpet. The characteristics of inpet are similar to your conventional MOSFET. Okay, on the left hand side, on the right hand side, sorry, x axis we have taken VDS, on y axis we have taken IDS. We know <coughs> the purpose of VGS and purpose of VDS. The purpose of VGS is to create the channel. So once the channel is created, as long as the VGS uh, uh, VDS increases, current also increases IDS until it reaches VDS is less than VGS minus VT for the current to flow and VDS should be greater than or equal to VGS minus VT for saturation condition. So until this particular point we can say all these are in non-saturation region, linear region, triode region, okay, resistance region, ohmic region because here is the uh, portion where we are having lot of current to produce it because of the increment in the VDS. So as VDS increases and IDS also increases. This is the strategy up to this point. After this point what happens? Transistor enters into the saturation region. Different uh, VGS values will be having different uh, characteristics. Okay. So these are the VA characteristics of the input which are similar to your conventional or planner MOSFET no change in terms of its operation except traditional um, gates and now we can say the advantage also we have seen disadvantage we need to see disadvantage so what is the disadvantage of this fabrication cost is higher than Fabrication cost is higher than CMOS. Fabrication cost is higher than CMOS circuit. Okay, not with not when compared to the uh, other, but here we are having the fabrication cost is relatively high compared to the normal basic uh, conventional CMOS process. Controlling Controlling pin depth is very difficult. Controlling pin depth is difficult. Okay, so now let us see the last one advantages, advantages, disadvantages we have seen. Applications, applications of pin pet. applications of pinfet mainly this particular pinfet technology used in microprocessors microprocessors and used in microcontrollers that means wherever we are having integrated circuits used in smartphones and used in compact chip used in contact chip so all these are different advantages and applications of this pin fit okay so only two drawbacks is there, two drawbacks are there what are the fabrication cost is high and controlling pin depth is also difficult once the pin is established properly then the remaining operation is very easy so used in microprocessor there we are having a processor microcontroller here also processor plus memory and here we are having smartphones and compact chip so these are the applications of this pin pet thank you